Junkies, welcome to eminijunkie.com, your yesterday mentor's free trading video for Monday, August 15th, 2011. Today we had a total of four executable trade signals for a max potential of minus 10 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed by our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, volatility kicked down a bit today, and we actually uh, opened up outside of our high probability gap range, and we had a very high uh, internal reading, so as the uh, morning moved on, we were looking for what we consider a go-with trade, and that's a go with the direction of the gap, but uh, we'll go ahead and highlight our um, signal entries here. The market took off higher. We didn't have any real opportunity to get into it until after the uh, 10 o'clock time frame we had a news announcement popped up we had a signal to get long it hit our T1 objective never made it to the upside before moving down and stopping us out so the first trade of the day was a T0 minus 14 set up a signal to the downside able to get our first contract off that one but again no follow through so we ended up uh, taking a T1 minus 2 and then it came right up through the moving average so all this happened in about a span of about uh, uh, 15 minutes and we were in a sideways consolidation so typically you want to avoid this style of chop anyway our plan is made for trending markets and basically from about uh, oh 9.15 on the market was just back and forth but we did get a signal to fire there at the end targets one and targets two for eight ticks so was able to make up a little bit of that uh, early chop loss and as this market is basically consolidating we had the gap up and uh, and then after 10:15, it was definitely you know game on as far as the go with situation. So we were looking for a nice deep pullback. We had a signal uh, to the downside at 10:45, and this one was unfortunate. It, it went down. We were within a tick of hitting our target, only to see it pop up and stop us out to the tick on our signal entry before ultimately making the target. So unfortunate on this trade. The setup was right. The signal was right. Uh, just going with a little bit of a tight stop hit us to the tick only to see it go to T2 unfortunate because that would have been a nice win for us and as the market uh, did move down um, you know during the lunchtime this is when we were starting to look for an opportunity uh, to get long and hold till uh, 2.30 or so in the afternoon and there was actually a, a uh, longer term area of support and we came right back up against our gold line uh, we do not initiate um, any new trades during the uh, the lunchtime dead zone but this was a signal we were waiting on all day and uh, there were some folks in our room that jumped on what we call the go with signal and the the thought process is uh, you know you want to get yourself to a, a break even situation as soon as possible and then hold the remainder of your contracts towards the end of the day you want to either take it off at 2.30 or 3.30 and uh, you can see when we crossed our gold line that was down around 87.88 and the market uh, made it all the way up to 1200 plus and we were looking for 1200 as kind of our our goal for today and uh, at 2:30, you can see we we're up around 98 99 no other signals this afternoon uh, so if you were able to catch on the go with trade uh, you actually had a fantastic day but um, if you uh, just took the signal entries this morning the blind entries and got involved with uh, the chop uh, you ended up giving up a little today four trades minus 10 es ticks I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.